Okay. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Valerie Some Miles here. Um, so, <sighs> hello. If you're new here and if you're coming back, you're an OG, thank you for sticking with me. If you're with me, since my name was Valerie Smiles, but I wanted to kind of come in today and kind of do like a channel refresh, just do like a quick sort of like makeup um, routine, something that's kind of like my go-to and also um, just answer a bunch of questions on Instagram. <laughs> I asked people to, you know, ask me anything because I wanted to be able to talk about something whilst um, doing the video. So I've got all screenshots of um, questions that were asked and then I'll just kind of go through everything as well as like let you guys know like what what plans I kind of have for my channel in the future. But anyway, moving on. I just want to say thank you to everyone who did ask me questions. It made this video way less awkward. So yeah if things look a little crazy that's because i've started like this i started using this new like skin serum or something and i like i know like whenever i use things like bhs and ahs in it it always does like a an acute skin purge of some kind so that's what my skin is going through right now so whole, it's a whole situation anyway hi <laughs> If you guys aren't subscribed, make sure to subscribe. Hopefully we can reach 1K by the end of the month or next month. That would be amazing. I've totally forgotten how to be a YouTuber, but make sure to like, comment, subscribe to this channel if you haven't, because it would mean the world to me. Uh, but uh, yeah, anywho, I couldn't be bothered to deal with my hair today. So I just put a hairband to sort of just like push it back. But I'm really feeling the curls <laughs> but sometimes this style kind of reminds me of you if anyone's ever watched um the grim adventures with billy and mandy it reminds me of like grim's cloak like the ends of his cloak this sort of situation reminds me of that but <laughs> we move so starting with the first question what products do you use for your skin i actually use quite a limited amount of products i don't really experiment too much with things especially when i find stuff that works for my skin and i've just also kind of been trying to clear my skin as well right now i recently got this and i've been using this quite a bit this is the cause rx advanced snail mousin essence um i have like a bunch of like go-to products i have the cause rx salicylic face wash i'll put up a picture because it's downstairs and uh i wash usually wash my face that morning and evening and then in the morning i apply the you know cosrx snail mousin essence and then i apply this new serum i got i didn't use to use this but recently i started using this ava natural skin clearing serum with vitamin c so it's supposed to just i guess help clear your skin i've kind of already noticed like i've been using it for about two weeks i've noticed already like my skin tone e like looking even and like brighter so kind of appreciate that it's doing that for me and for moisturizer i use oh it's like over here somewhere i use it's disgusting right now i use the ordinary natural moisturizing um factors AHA and usually I'll use this or I will use my sunscreen and um, that's usually my daytime and then my nighttime is basically the same thing or I would normally use aloe vera with tea tree oil on my skin like as a mask and just go to bed wake up in the morning repeat <laughs> and that's literally it. I don't really do too much to my skin because you know when i do like i just started using these products my skin's already started like being a little bit like spastic <laughs> yeah that's really it but i don't know how people talk and do this at the same time and then somebody asked what my favorite food is 
because I won't be able to talk, I literally will just leave like labels on the side of the screen for the products that I use. I'm just gonna keep this mirror here because I don't really have one. Okay, this is looking a little bit of a hot mess. I hydrate my skin and that Becca black light primer filter is really good for like making the skin look extra multi-dimensionally shiny <laughs> so I'm just gonna take my foundation brush I'm just taking my foundation brush and uh, this is like a bamboo set I got of eBay so I'm just gonna use that okay so um foundation and next question what are my pet peeves uh arrogance ignorance <laughs> and dirty nails <laughs> um i kid you not like whenever i meet someone or i get to know someone i always look at like stuff like their eyes their clothing and their nails because i feel like you can tell a lot from someone's eyes so i'm just gonna go in with my concealer Hey ma'am, so what's your skincare routine? I basically already kind of covered that question as um, at, the, at the start and my go-to, my go-to skincare product, yeah my go-to skincare product will probably have to be actually aloe vera gel because that never ever fails me, like ever. This is kind of like the quick Instagram makeup I normally do. And it's supposed to be super, 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 super quick. But what I'm planning for my um, channel is to kind of do what I was doing before, like makeup and fashion. But then my makeup is very much like simple and especially like on the skin and everything very like simple and not much to it like i do things really retarded <laughs> so if my makeup pattern irritates you i'm sorry in advance so i'm just going to um take this but yeah, just basically do the same things I was doing for so fashion and makeup. And I was thinking of kind of organizing it a little bit more. I know it's super cringe. I was thinking doing makeup Mondays and then um, fashion Fridays. Oh, super cringe. But I feel like if I do that, there's some sort of like organization. I wanted to start off um, posting like once a week. So like I'll post Mondays or Fridays. And if it's on a Monday, it will be a makeup video. If it's on a Friday, it will be a um, fashion video. So it could be hauls, it could be styling, it could be anything of the sort. Um, I just think for me, like having that sort of like organization means like I know, means like I know how to plan for stuff, you know? So yeah, I'm just gonna take this. Um, it's so crazy. Like I recently only started using this side of the the pencil, and for some reason I was under the idea like I thought this was like a thicker, a thicker pencil, and I've been like avoiding using it this whole time. But it's wow, it's it's not that obviously, but like I just use this to draw on parts of the brows that i would wish were there 
but I really don't do much to my brows because they're relatively already thick. One thing I will say though, it's quite irritating when like um, something like this where it's like one end is a product and the other end is a product. But yeah, just gonna go in. I think the things that people comment on the most when it comes to my makeup is my brows and so I'm literally just showing you what I do it's the quickest thing on earth brows are boring for me to do so that's why I put strength into growing my eyebrows so I don't have to sit for ages and do my brows So I'm actually going to apply another little bit of concealer just under my, my eyeballs, under my knee, <laughs> just under my knee, my eyeballs, exactly guys. So I'm just going to go under again, just brighten because you guys saw the dark circles. So next question, <laughs> this is by Paige, by the way you are unreal, thank you so much Paige, I appreciate you. So, next question. Sorry, this is literally just madness. How did I get into modeling? I get asked this quite a lot. I, I, I think I got a couple of these. So I'm just gonna answer this for everyone. How did I get into modeling? So, just kind of like posting pictures I had, like, um, actually from, probably from back when I started YouTube and stuff, like I got people saying like, um, I should, get into modeling and before that like i actually did get contacted and it was before i started university and like i did they did want to sign me but i was kind of like i don't know if i'll be able to do it whilst at uni and so i didn't take it up and then whilst at uni i was posting pictures on instagram and stuff and so like um um i also started like really seriously thinking about modeling because when i was um taking pictures i got people who contacted me to um model for their brand and i think like the first ever sort of like person um was called um ugo i think and she wanted me to model for her online clothing boutique and stuff and so that's how it kind of started and then i started applying for like agencies and stuff and then <laughs> i got accepted in well not accepted um i got signed into one and yeah i got signed into one i think summer summer 19 yeah summer 19 summer 2019 so i really like this powder because it's like a nice shade of yellow and it's like really brightening and i like it but it's also really hydrating i don't know if that's the thing but i feel like it's really hydrating so next question Paige again asked how are you so confident i'm going with what you wear and how you act i literally cannot answer that question except for like i just kind of think like i'm just I'm just me and like I have my I found my own fashion sense a fashion style I guess so once you kind of like find your own style you kind of feel comfortable in it and I guess to some people it might seem like you're outgoing but it's just like it's my personal style and I'm comfortable with it you know um <laughs> but i think like the key to just being confident and outgoing in like what you wear or what you do is just liking it and being comfort and being comfortable with what what you have or what you're wearing or what you're doing i feel anyway and um how i act um it's kind of been like a journey um i've always kind of tried to condition my mind to be 
you know positive and so like even if it's just like i wake up in the morning i'm like okay i've got to get this done or like i look in the mirror i'm like okay you're great you're doing good keep going like i just talk myself up and talk myself into doing things honestly um it seems it seems crazy but it honestly works sometimes you're your best cheerleader guys and that's the truth no one else can hype you up like you can <laughs> sometimes so that's all i'm saying and then she asked um what gave you the inspiration to start modeling i, I think that again is just kind of like i've always wanted to do it but then i thought like okay my height i've thought my as of like i've thought of my height as a restriction and so i never really like pursued it as much because i thought like what's the point like i'm probably never gonna be able to do it but then um i came across the initial people who wanted to sign me before i went to university and they said you can do all there are different types of modeling and i you know you're able to do um i'm just gonna use this bronzer um they said like you're able to do the like several types of modeling like there's commercial modeling so you can do commercial modeling and then once i heard that i was kind of like well then there's nothing kind of stopping me now is there <laughs> so yeah i'm just gonna bronze up my face a little I know like to some people i seem like confident and i try i do try to be but i also have my days like i was talking to this really sweet girl as well and she like was telling me how she feels like ugly and you know she just doesn't feel great about herself most of the time and i had to tell her like we all go through it and as much as like instagram makes people seem like they're confident like people also struggle you know people also have their struggle you know and don't think like everything you see on instagram is like 100 percent reality because that's the most biggest facade of history literally instagram <laughs> that's the biggest facade existing ever <laughs> so don't ever for any reason think like like everyone is always confident and okay and fine it's not true and um yeah that's basically what gave me inspiration just my desire to succeed in somewhere or like in a field or like in a gap where there isn't like many people like there aren't many like people or like models representing my height my skin color that sort of thing my ethnicity you know and that was basically my inspo for modeling in the first place <laughs> how are you so pretty i don't know i honestly don't think i'm that pretty i know that's why i say like when people like say stuff like oh um you know you're super confident and like how are you confident and stuff like I don't actually think I'm that pretty. Like, I just think I'm okay, you know? Like, I'm literally just, like, averagey, maybe. <sighs> but, um, <laughs> I must be disappointed, like, so many people. It's very hard to talk and do your makeup at the same time. Like, wow. I would have probably been done with this by now if I wasn't talking. But anyway, I'm just gonna take my um this blend no, not this blending brush actually. Where is, where is my normal blending brush? Okay, I'm gonna take this blending brush. Obviously, it's due for washing. Excuse that. I'm gonna take this blending brush and just um use the bronzer in my eye. My <laughs> on my eyeball. <laughs> but yeah um why are you so cheesy um i actually hate cheese but if you find me cheesy 
<laughs> I'm sorry, I'm cheesy because I guess I'm very smiley and I like to spread love and I guess spreading love can be cheesy sometimes, you know? So I'm just gonna pop that in my crease to the 90 crease area. modeling also kind of like really taught me to like be okay with my features because in modeling they don't like do like not like most modeling jobs that i've booked like they don't do like all the extra makeup that you see on instagram and youtube and all of that like they just it's like what you have is what they work with they don't do the extra um enchilada like go the extra mile to carve your face carve your nose carve your cheekbone i'm really liking how this is turning out like i'm liking the skin looking super <laughs> chia bianca i absolutely love this chick like she i don't know when we first started following each other but it was i think like it's probably been like ye a year or so now oh my god life life is always filled with hiccups people just clean it up and move on um yeah so i think we've been following each other for a year now i absolutely love this girl bianca she asked what my favorite food is when last did you my favorite food is actually hands down sushi um or just rice and when did i last eat sushi i actually had sushi today with my bestie anyone who knows valerie knows like wherever there's sushi wherever there's sushi you shall find valerie <laughs> um and what's my favorite instagram outfit oh my god on my instagram feed i don't really think like i've done that many maybe my favorite one so far probably has to be this it's one of my most recent posts and i actually quite like that outfit because i actually wore it out and the thing is that i always sometimes plan to take like outside pictures for instagram but it's like <laughs> england starts being england and i'm like yeah no we're just gonna stick to staying inside because obviously she doesn't want me to take pictures outside what does your tip the typical day in your in your week look like waking up i don't really do much especially now in these times i literally wake up um i'm trying to get into the habit of like waking up and praying in the morning um but i don't always but normally what i do is i wake up obviously um brush my teeth wash my face and then we shower in the evening if i don't shower in the evening i'll probably shower like way later on in the afternoon i'm just i don't know like morning showering for me is has gotten difficult over the years <laughs> if i if i have like work i go to work and if not um depending on the day i normally wake up super early to like take pictures for instagram and like check comments and check messages and reply to like maybe like brands that want to collaborate and stuff like that and um yeah that's basically it and i and oh yeah i try i fit i fit in like working out like at least what recently i started working out a lot more often and i try and walk like every single day at least like six thousand steps <laughs> um and now and i think as of last week as of last week i started running and if i'm not doing that i'm most likely playing sims and watching youtube videos or on instagram looking for more inspo and saving things or entering opoly competitions <laughs> <laughs> my day my fave sweets i don't really like sweets oh that's probably like actually my fave sweets like if i can think of anything is most likely haribo strawberries 
that's literally the only thing i can like just look at and be like i just can't resist i love 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 them um but apart from that like i don't i'm not really like a sweet person um i just i eat fruits for like sugar and things like that my fave insta account this is so oh this is so not a good question to ask someone how how okay um give me one second let's just do eyeliner it, it requires intense concentration done <sighs> that was hard work and then i'm just gonna use some mascara it's my favorite mascara i love this mascara it literally like makes my lashes look like i'm wearing gold lashes oh actually i think i'm gonna pass on this fave insta account question but my girl who asked this question you know i love your page she is so freaking hot and so like she's just a queen she's a queen love you leonie Mwah. clear mascara oh my gosh always has its downfalls else ever have this issue where you have something one time you know where it is one time and like it just completely goes missing like this always happens to me like i could have something in my hand and just blink and be like wait hold on where did it go please tell me i'm not the only person who has that problem because then i'll just think i'm mental what's one makeup product you can't live without i'd have to say lip gloss lip gloss because I can just brush up my brows, my lashes, I can apply like oil to them to make them look nicer. Um, my face, I can just apply moisturizer and walk out the door. But my lips, I just cannot stand if they are crusty. I can't do it. One of my best friends actually put me onto this lip liner, which at first I didn't think like would work. for my skin tone but just it's so creamy i used to literally not even understand the concept of overlining lip especially because obviously i have lips like i never understood it i was like why would people do this but then the funny thing is that the people i saw outlining the lips had big lips so i was like i don't understand I just don't understand what is going on <laughs> and then i started doing it if you have big lips to overline your lips there's a way you need to do it you can't do it like everyone else like so i don't actually like really properly overline my lips i'm more like shade my lips i guess like i i don't draw within the lines i shade outwards so it kind of like gives a little bit of definition to my lips absolutely love it i do go in and use blusher and i use thin highlighter i have a little bit of a love-hate relationship with highlighter on the cheekbones but like i absolutely love this on my cheeks because it's literally like my skin tone can you see that why do i have both covers on there 
and I just set everything in place. So um, yeah, we're done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So most likely when you guys are seeing it, it's most likely maybe going to be a Saturday or a Sunday, depending on how editing goes. I hope it goes quickly, really. Um, but, you know, things never really go to plan. But, yeah, that's literally my, my face. Literally, I can do this. I'm saying literally a bit too much. I can get this face done in maybe like 20 15 to 20 minutes if i'm not talking through it okay no let's say 30 minutes because the eyeliner i'm getting better at doing it but honestly it's not the easiest thing in the world <laughs> oh actually i forgot what i usually do as well is like fill in because i actually have like beauty spots but like they get covered up i have a beauty spot like right here and no one can ever see that now we're done <laughs> if you stay to the end of the video thank you so much i appreciate you don't forget to like comment and subscribe guys and i will you know catch you in my next video Annyeong.